Welcome back to my series on having a narc free new year. And for those of you who don't know, it's where I'm reading excerpts out of my book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People. If you want the links for it, it is going to be down below. And also if you missed other videos in this series, I will have them at the tail end of this video so you can just click on through. With that said, let's get on with it. All right, chapter four, we're still on it, on dealing with a narcissist, but we're on page 83, the purpose of boundaries. As I said before, this is not about you getting the narc to change, right? That's that's the old way. We, we're done with that. <laughs> okay, this is about you standing up for yourself. Please understand, you've got to get out of the old training and the old programming that there's a way for you to get your needs met with these people. There isn't. Setting boundaries isn't about fixing that. It's about you advocating for yourself and standing up for yourself, whether or not these people cooperate. Drop the fantasy that you're ever gonna fix these people. Now, I can tell you from experience that when you lay down the law, so to speak, they're gonna ask you to reason with them. They're gonna try to negotiate with you. They might even start arguing with you they're going to guilt you, uh, possibly, and try to tell you that you're the one who's gotten it wrong. Gaslighting, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, and that you're overreacting and that you're, you know, being unfair. Uh, but remember, this is where, you know, all the gaslighting techniques come in to get you to question yourself, your sanity, and your, your morality, and your sense of reality, okay? They're going to try to play to your conscience, even though they lack one. The best thing you can do is to not play into this. Don't allow them to confuse, guilt, intimidate, or pressure you for standing up for yourself. So in the book, I go into a lot more detail, step-by-step -step detail about how to do it. I'll just say it briefly here where, you know, I talk about setting and enforcing limits, setting your agenda, how you avoid the common pitfall that we empaths, codependents have of um, explaining and justifying ourselves. Um, and how do you call out behavior for what it is? How do you refocus and reprioritize you? I also talk about emotionally disconnecting from these people through the gray rock technique and more. If you're interested in purchasing this book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People, remember it is on Kindle ebook version. You can get it on audiobook at Audible, and you can also get it in print at Amazon.com. And for those of you who like to sit back and watch and listen, well, I've got the video version over at my Etsy shop. Links for all of these are going to be found down below. And if you want to watch the next video available on narcissism, click here. Thank you all for your support.